Yeah, hello scrappers. Today I thought I'd do something a little different. I got this tire jack stuff. This uh, rear tire on this mower has been going flat. So I've been kind of watching for a tire to in some of the junk ones I bring in, which I've picked up a few. But I'm kind of asking myself, do I want to go through the hassle of trying to demount that tire from the rim and mount another one on there? Or, you know, that's a lot of work. And purchasing a tire, I don't know, a lot of you guys know that if you bought a new tire for that, you're looking at probably $50, $60. Maybe more with all this inflation that we've got. But I heard about this tire jack stuff online, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, I'm not sponsored by a tire jack or nothing, or tire jack. I purchased this myself. Purchased a 20 ounce, kind of, kind of a soft plastic. Let me turn that monitor over. They have an app even that, uh, that you can put on your smartphone to tell you how much to put into a tire. But uh, it's saying for like a rear tire on a riding mower, put in 10 ounces. So this is the one that's been leaking. I aired it up, jumped the battery so I could drive it from drive it out from over here where I had it by the tree. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> it's saying for front tires go about five ounces. So on that mower there, you guys remember that junk one I brought in? There's a pulse line on the fuel pump. The pulse line broke off. But those front tires seem to be losing air, so I'm going to put five ounces in each one of those. And uh, what makes this stuff kind of neat is you can buy an applicator. Kind of a big syringe. I'm trying to get in here. So you can pop this out. You got a little valve stem tool in there, valve cap valve stem tool. But it's got ounces on one side, milliliters on the other. So it goes up to five ounces. So I'm gonna have to fill this twice, basically to, for this back tire. <clears throat> and then when I get the back tire done, I'll, go, I'll, I'll do the front tires on that one off camera. <coughs> basically put it in rotate it a little bit I mean it's supposed to seal if you have big weather craps I think it says up to up to 3 8 inch it says permanently fix a flat tire there you go I'm not sure if you can read that or not I can't not in the monitor permanently fix a flat tire flat tire protection for one year seal 3 8 punctures and slow leaks Seals the tread, sidewall, and bead. So this stuff's pretty liquidy. Probably not even as thick as slime, and it's supposed to have uh, all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, so this pouch will applicate two ATV tires, two UTV SS S time S tires, or four, four golf cart tires. So apparently, golf cart tires are about five ounces a piece. Safe for tire and rim. It won't rust out your rim. I heard uh, that green slime, I heard that rusts out rims. So I don't know that for for a fact, but that's what I've I've heard from a few different people. So it says to deflate the tire, remove the valve core, attach our, our syringe, and then inject it into the tire. And you can, probably doesn't matter where you have that valve stem aimed at. But uh, then this is also water cleanup. So I hear a sale in a golf cart, four ounces. Riding mower, eight to four ounce, eight to four ounce, four to eight ounces basically. A wheelbarrow tire, 20 ounces. So it's showing that up here in the red. And uh, Shake thoroughly before using. Okay, do I shake myself or you know shake all over or shake the bag? Yeah. So, and then also with it, I ordered a little valve stem tool, and it comes with a couple little valve cores too. I didn't know that, but 
so that's kind of cool and then it comes with uh, a couple red valve caps so I guess that way you know you put tire jack in there so we get this stuff mixed up good I don't know if I'm zoomed in or zoomed out there we go we'll get us a get this tire tool out of here I may have to rig me up a little box or something to keep all this stuff in I'm gonna have to purchase some more for some wheelbarrows around here I got one that's got a tube in it but it goes down pretty quick so I wouldn't mind trying that in it I take four or five ounces and see if it'll seal it up and everything even if Right now, about all the air is coming out, I still feel just a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and, and attach this, which I pulled the plunger out, so even if there's any air in there, it's still going to allow it to come out. Okay, just mix it up a little bit more. It's supposed to have Kevlar in it and probably bits of rubber and stuff like that. So it'll it's supposed to seal things up really good. It's kind of blue. It'll set that up somewhere. Put the plunger in. I have a kink in the little tube. What's up? Might be an idea. I watched one video and they said it was so thin it was pouring down there. So if you want to get fairly accurate measurement, probably just push in to kink the tube. Put your tire jack stuff in and then and unkink it. Let me take this over to the garden hose and flush some water through it. Wipe my hand off. Okay, now that that's in there. Now I'm wondering what did I do with the valve core. The good thing is this two came with this, so I guess I'll get one of the ones that came with it. I'm not seeing the one I had. Put a valve cord back in. Yeah, I saw one video where they took this stuff and after they put it in the tire, they aired the tire up. And they took a, a 3 8 inch spike and stabbed it in there and then rotated it around a couple times and it sealed it right up about the second or third revolution. So. Cheaper way to go than buying a tire. I'm not really sure. I didn't compare it to the price of slime, but uh, probably somewhere about there. Okay, I got everything cleaned up and uh, got it aired up. Put the red cap on there, and uh, I'm gonna try to get out here and do some mowing with this mower today. And uh, my wife wants to have a yard sale later in the week, so. 
I get out and get it mowed, get it ready. Got rain coming in this afternoon. Actually, just as I was getting set up to do this video, we started getting a little sprinkle. <laughs> I thought, great, just when I go and bring the camera outside. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and jack up the front of this other mower where Oreo's at. Oreo's kind of pointing out one of the tires I'm going to do. And uh, I need to try those hopeless tires that are on that trailer, but I don't really have enough stuff. I'm starting to feel a few raindrops again. The uh, one thing too, they had, like I said, this was a 20 ounce bag that I have here. I think they have an eight ounce. I know they have a 10 ounce and they have larger sizes too, which I knew I wanted to do that tire and maybe probably need another one or so, which I figured I'd do those two. That would be 20 ounces. And uh, that way I don't have to come out and air these up, which I wouldn't air those up every time I used it, but about once every couple weeks I'd have to air those tires up. So putting five ounces in each one, that should take care of that issue. So I'm gonna get around and get that done. And then right now I still gotta put a battery in this. I got a battery to put in it, but I wanna use the battery to do some troubleshooting on that uh, Cub Cadet that I brought in here a week or two ago. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to pull it up by the other door. I probably ought to get out here and mow not too unbearably hot so and uh, my wife went in yesterday for her cataract surgery on her right eye so she's not allowed to bend over or anything so I got one of my radios with me and she's got the other one in there <clears throat> so if she needs anything she can give me a holler and I can get in there and help her so I'll talk to you guys in the next video and I'll give you an update on this tire too how it's staying up how it seems to be working I didn't see stuff coming out anywhere as I was spinning it so but a lot of these tires get old and weather cracked and they'll start leaking on the sidewall according to tire jack tire jack they say that uh, it's supposed to seal the sidewalls too and the rim the bead so sounds like a good product and uh, the reviews were good on it. And a few videos that I watched all, you know, kind of bragged on it. So give it a try and see what it does. So, and so like me for, you know, picking up these junk mowers and getting them going, I don't want to have to spend $50 on a, on a tire. A lot of these have been sitting for a year or two and they weather cracked and stuff like that. And if I have to buy tires on them, I'm not going to make much profit, if any. So then I question would it be worth it? Just junk it, you know. But uh, I've got a little tire machine that's good for these, these kind of tires, but I, I need to get it cemented in somewhere. So maybe when I get that little partial roof on the other side where I'm going to put my uh, melters, I'll stick it over there. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe as they say. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll give you an update on, on that tire. So, take care. Happy scrapping.